bit uh is the gun mightier than the sword. Ready? We'll see. No. I'm going with no right away. It generally isn't, but I don't know, man. Kicks. Kicks are working pretty well though. The laser's like a tickle. Kick to the face though, that'll knock you across the world. Yeah. Across your living room. Up tilt, forward tilt, up tilt. Oh. Cole just waits for him. Just stood there waiting for the angle of the up B and then slowly walked his fox across the ledge. Just gives him, it gives him the meat of the sword as well. Yeah. Smack, smack. I wonder how much better Marf would be if he was just a floating sword. I feel like a hitbox would definitely be smaller. No, no, like you just like you just like move, move it graphically. Like the hitbox, everything's still the same. It just graphically, oh, it just looks like a sword. yeah, it just looks like a floating sword. That would be odd. Like every single. I every don't know what game that would have come from. What? This is Smash Brothers. It has to come from a game. No, dude, it's fine. It's just a floating sword. All right, you can play your Mugen on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> nice crashes there by Cobol. Able to get that down here. Oof, almost gets that one. It was close. Oh. Colin wanted it. Colin, wanted, Colin felt it. But then he wasn't he, sure. He's like, eh, yeah, I think he's like, really too far away. Yeah. Well, I feel like if he held it for longer, like, Peggy would have, like, definitely recovered higher. He's gone over, yeah, and just missed it completely. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's okay. He, he, he floated right into the tipper. Yep. Slight misspacing might cost Colin his stock here. Maybe. Okay. I think he's at a loner for a second. He's just taking lumps. Oh. Jeez. Oh. oh. The precision. Give him, give him the sword. Just give him the sword. The one-two punch from Kobol's in. The one-two punches from Kobol are so good. Like, he makes it look like his attack is over, but he's able to, like, throw out another hitbox at the right space. Like, that downer was just, I don't know, good knowledge, I guess. Called in the zone. He, 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 he listens to the game now. Yeah, right. He, he's clapping in his head. He can hear in color. <laughs> he can hear in color. Yeah. And all he hears is the claps. Exactly. Hoka, hoka. Wait, what? Oh, he's playing Fox now. Oh. What happened? He switched. I, I guess it's because of Dreamline. That makes sense. I don't know. I've never seen him play a Fox Ditto before. It's been a while. Oh, wow. That was an absolute steal there. Deals 90 damage and then he gets a jab uh, shine off the ledge. <laughs> Not the worst. Oh. Will he get punished for it? No. Counter punished. Wait, who's who? I'm so uh, Peggy's regular. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Because I was like, Peggy never plays blue. Yeah. He, like, I've never seen him play blue, like, ever. I think it might be the stock here. Yeah, very good. Very nice, very nice. But he took a laser for it. Was it worth yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Not a terrible place to be. Like, down a stock is kind of bunk. But 30% is not the worst. Just gotta make sure you have to get out of this edge guard. Alright, back to center stage. I don't want to be stubborn about it though. Oof, nice cobalt. Covers the low recovery and the close recovery. Oh, did SDI my cobalt. Taking the hit immediate really tight. Oof, nice grab. Oh, I like that. It's just barely in space. There you go, that's the way to where you strip out. Thank you. Nice. Reverse four stock? Hog champ? Well, maybe, but it's tough. Cobalt's pretty good. I believe. Thank you, my boy. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, that was rough. He missed the jump missing, on that one. He's been missing all of his shine spikes today. Yeah. Oh. Didn't get the down smash, that's rough. Might be the stock. Yeah, yeah. that'll be good. Ooh. 
already down two. Yeah, Corbel up two own winners. Let's see if Pengi can compose himself, kind of get back to a, a stage in position where he can punish Kobo a little more. I mean, he definitely took like a bad beat stock in the second one where he went when he went for the, the counter shine spike and missed it. So back to Dream Win. Yep. He kind of wants to keep Kobo off Marth, I guess. Or maybe he likes to stay up there. Uh, I think it's just keeping him off. Uh, keeping Co uh, Kobo off Marth is a bit of a smarter idea yeah. right now. Swords are scary. For sure. And sometimes you're kind of like feeling hot versus the character too. It's like, oh, my Fox matchup feels good right now. Oh, nice. Good job by Cobalt staying on the stage after that uh, back air. Oh, nice double shine. A double shine. Nice. Gets over the back air, too. Oh, good edge guard. Jeez. Cobalt just with the reads here. Nice recover there. Nice. I thought he was dead before that time. I got him with two lasers that time. Ooh, definitely not worth it. Yeah. I changed my opinion from before. So, so a stock for one laser is worth, but a stock for two lasers is not worth it? Nah, just puts it into that run percent, you know? Yeah. I, I can see it, I can see it. Just gotta get a stock as long as I can take the laser damage. That's why he's losing. He's taking too much laser damage. Exactly. He would have been at 144. <laughs> Relevant, sure. <laughs> oh. Colin's feeling yeah, himself. Great pressure there by Cobalt. Not letting Pinky do his thing. Nice read. Waits him out. Oh, we'll take the stock. Oh. That's rough. Take the stock now. Nope. Oh. I like the downer there by Cobalt, but hanging out with my spacing there. Awkward job. Back air. Not nice, that should be it. Yeah. yeah, nice. Good. Good, good. Even match. Even better than before. It's, it's a couple Cole, hits Cole. and up smashes though. Oh yeah, Cobalt just kind of going in. Colin doesn't want a fair fight. He doesn't want, he doesn't like, fair fa he doesn't like even matches. Right. He wants to be ahead all He's the time. He's to run away with it. Yeah. He's Fox. He's got a fast dash already. He's taking a step back, just getting his hits where he can. Yeah. Can't make trades here. Okay, he's been missing those before, so... It's good to see him get it there, but... Got a little bit, back here. Got Why a little not? bit two in there. Oh, snap, what's up, J-Red? Nice. Oh, missing that forward smash. That's a tough, like, you gotta know that it's not gonna hit almost. Like, you gotta feel it. I guess he felt that he could get it, but... And that might just be, you know, knowledge. I definitely feel like I would not be technical enough to do that. But I think he might have, like, I've done this in the past, it's not a hard. But even that one, I wouldn't have gone for it. I'm surprised that Forge didn't hit, but I guess Cobalt had the right angle there. Or the right height. Oh, wow, good DI. We're, we're alive. He's in there. Oh, nice. He's in there. Oh, still only DI alive. But Cobalt's in there too. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. 114 is an uphill battle at best. Let's go, Peggy. We believe. We believe. We still believe in. It's a tough one. Uh, oh! Nice. Oh. Alright. Give the him second the second lease of life, but not quite enough. Tough spot to be in. Good stuff to Cobalt. 3 0, going in the grands. Yeah, but Peggy will be back in the losers' finals at least. We like Pengi. Pengi's a good Pengi's a good guy. Pengi's a G. All right, so that's the end of our winners bracket. Let's see who what else we got around here. Everyone's else is playing. Uh, Odie's waiting for his match between Odding and Crudo. Sunstein to defeat Fishing is apparently playing Bud. Yes, we got a couple minutes before we can get someone on stream here. Panda and Envy's are apparently about to play or something. That should be a good one. If we can pull that one here, that'd be nice. Uh. I oh, still got a couple minutes, sadly. All right, all right. How are you too, Jordan? <clears throat> if you're just tuning in, welcome. This 